I'm having matcha today. Oh, or not, because that's totally f***ed up. Hey guys, it's Candice the Edgy Veg, and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. So it's shoot day for me. Um, it's future Candice. Uh, I'm going to insert my waking up and getting ready clips after this, but I wanted to give you guys a fun behind the scenes look at what a typical shoot day looks for me and what I'm eating. And hopefully, and Harley really wants to be part of this intro, and apparently so does Winston. Um, and just give you guys some fun ideas for meal ideas for you guys to make at home. Um, yeah, if you like these types of videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and then I know and then I can make more. Good morning. It's shoot day. I'm in the bathroom. I just started kind of doing my makeup. I'm not focused at all. And I am about to do my hair. But tame this crazy mop. Why are you laying on this tea towel? Is this your tea towel now? Does it belong to you now? That tail. Hello. Hi, Winston. All right, I have my hair and my makeup done for my shoot. This is my assistant, Molly. She's prepping all of the ingredients for today's shoot. We're waiting for the boys. Um, I'm pretty much in like yoga gear, so I need to get dressed. Um, and I guess breakfast is a thing. Maybe I'll make a smoothie or a bagel. Game time decision. Okay, so I, on Sunday, meal prepped uh, this tofu scramble Florentine. So I'm going to make us some of that. I have these vegan everything bagels that I bought at the co-op. And then I have this humble seeds, herb and garlic cream cheese. So I think that is going to go onto the bagel. And then we have like a little bit of everything. And we've prepped some veggies. So we gotta throw some veggies on the side. All right, here's our quick and easy breakfast. I'm just going to top the bagel with the everything but the bagel sesame seed seasoning blend. Also, it's nice on the veggies too. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. It's really hard to do with one hand when you're looking through a viewfinder. All right, this is your breakfast. Where do you want it? In my mouth. <laughs> you guys, your breakfast is back there. Oh. It's just Anthony and Eric. No need to cry. That's totally f up. Do you want me to hold the camera while you do that? Yes, please. Oh yeah, you're here now. Yeah, we can make it easier for you. Um, this is the barista's matcha from my matcha life. So it's not ceremonial grade, which means it's a bit cheaper. But I'm just adding that to the hot coconut and soy milk. And then usually when people do this, they like mix it with some hot water in a bowl, but I'm not going to do that. This is what I do. <laughs> just blend it. Just a little bit. The coconut sugar definitely changes the color a little bit, so it's not as green, but whatever. It's fine. Mm. Frothy and tasty, and hopefully the caffeine will go right to my veins. All right, it's about lunchtime. We are making some tacos back here. Anthony's here. Hello. Molly's back there. And of course, we have very important directors and producers right here. Hello. This is my wardrobe stylist. I mean, she's pretty styled until I'm right? not gonna lie. She looks so good. Look at you. Look at this arm placement. One arm just slightly under the other. She's like, why are you poking at me? You're a very bougie dog. Like, look at how she's <laughs> sitting. Maybe I'll fit into nice, big squares. All right, so we just filmed the um, I Tried Making Tasty's Best Brownie Ever by Vegan recipe, and this brownie is the best brownie I've ever had. What she said. <laughs> like, I if I ever write a second cookbook, this is going in there. This is so good. So I would use a smaller pan, 
but thicker because the edges are a bit overcooked. I'm gonna eat that entire sit, like pan one too. Yeah. So for lunch today, um, we're just gonna eat the tacos that we're filming for the level up because food waste is not something that we do here. They're gonna be really good. I'm excited. Who doesn't love tacos? Are you excited? I mean, based on all three levels, like I'm already starving. And <laughs> I just see like all the food getting prepped and I just like wanna eat all the things. Right? Like, right now. Me too. I'm hungry. <laughs> what was that? Feed us. <laughs> Time, and we just finished the level up video of leveling up tacos. So we have a buffalo cauliflower wing. We have a 10 minute taco that's just pretty basic. And then we have this amazing hearts with palm fish style, like shrimp style bang bang taco. That's one I decided to eat first. It's so good. So whoever wants a taco, come try one. They can't have any of this. I mean, there's no onion in that, but there's apple cider vinegar and like paprika and stuff, and I don't know what else can eat that. So we're just gonna be safe. Can we take a moment to appreciate this gigantic mess? <laughs> this is the behind the scenes no one actually sees. The dishwasher is also full. Well, how are the tacos? It's crazy how realistic, I'm covering my mouth because there's food in my mouth, but it's crazy <laughs> how realistic this is. Look, it even texturally looks like a shrimp. It's that's the Hearts of Palm taco that yeah. we filmed. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, she fishy. <laughs> and we've got some buffalo ones here. And none for Gretchen Wieners. He's giving me dirty side eye. All right, we are done the videos that we wanted to shoot today, so I'm just going to make a quick dinner. After a shoot day, I like to use whatever's kind of already prepped. Um, anything that's going to go back anything that's going to go bad in my fridge and kind of throw something random together. Um, we ate a lot of tacos and chocolate today, so I need something green in my system. So I have some kale that needs to be eaten. I have this pepper. Uh, we needed aquafaba, so I have some chickpeas here. Sliced, what are these called? Onions, <laughs> it's a long day. Um, leftover slaw, so I'm just going to throw together a big epic salad. Um, and then for protein on that salad, I'm just gonna slice up some sriracha smoked tofu. Nice and light for the end of the day. Um, the great thing with kale salad is that you can dress it and keep it in your fridge and it just keeps getting softer, but in a good way, the longer you have it there, um, which makes it easier for your body to digest and you won't get those kale farts. <laughs> you know, the ones, they talk about it on Portlandia in that episode at the raw food place. Yeah, you don't have to massage it if you toss it in dressing, keeping your fridge for a few days. So this guy will keep for a while, which is great. Unlike salad with like romaine or any other type of green. So I'm just taking the leaves off of the stems and throwing them on the floor and kale's good for dogs, so. I like to keep the stems for smoothies. If you want some greens, cause you can still eat these. Oops. And when you blend them, they break down. So I'm just gonna rip them off the stem and then I'm going to chop it so that it's super fine because kale is super hard for your body to digest. So you want it to be nice and small. No big leaves of kale in a salad. That's just, it's too much chewing. You're not a camel. That's when I know that they need haircuts. <laughs> so that's happening. When food gets stuck to your face like that. This is by no means the proper way of doing this, but it's the way that works for me because I just want them to be small and easy to digest. And I love lots of dressing, so I want to make sure that it's totally coated. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you. I have this leftover red onion from the shoot today, so I'm just going to add that. I'm going to chop up this pepper, but I'm only chopping half of it because the other half is for the dogs <laughs> because my dogs love peppers. My big knife is dirty, okay? I'm doing the best I can with this tiny knife. It's in that sink somewhere. You still have kale stuck to you. Here. There you go. It's their favorite snack. Toss that into the large bowl of green and purple things. 
we are going to add this leftover slaw from the taco video. Right. This is totally optional. If you have any leftover salad that's like maybe a little wilted, like maybe it's like a spinach salad or any type of slaw, you can just add that in there. Really any vegetable that's about to go bad is good in a salad like this. All right, I have cucumber. I think do half moons with this. Uh, maybe such a small knife. Yes. This is a very green and purple salad. Aesthetically pleasing to the eye as well as the taste buds. Toss those in here. Ooh, so pretty already. And that's it. No, I'm just kidding. We have some chickpeas from the aquafaba. So we're going to add those in there. That is the base of our salad. Um, then I'm going to cube up this smoked tofu in the sriracha flavor. All right, let's make some dressing. I'm just going to eyeball a quick dressing. So I'm gonna do cashew base. Sunflower seed is also really nice for this. Hemp seeds is also really great. I'm gonna do about a scoop of cashews, raw cashews, raw and salted. Then I'm just going to add enough water to cover those cashews like that. We can add more water as it goes. Add about two cloves of garlic. And actually, I'm gonna do one clove of garlic because it's raw. A tablespoon, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. A splash of lemon or lime. I don't have lemon, so we're doing lime. Oh, that's probably too much. And then I also am adding a splash of tamari. And then we are going to blend that. Give it a quick taste. Very tasty. I'm going to add a little bit more tamari, just instead of salt, and then it's good to go. Oh, that's that's probably more than I wanted to add. Counterbalance that. A little bit of wine. Oh, okay. It's that time of the day when I'm theatrical unsuccessfully, so. I'm so excited for the dogs to get their nails clipped tomorrow so that we no longer have to listen to the pitter patter of their tiny little toes. <laughs> right, so we are slicing. Why don't you say we? It's just me. I'm doing this. Um, I'm just slicing up um, the entire block of sriracha tofu. I'm gonna take half, half that. And half that again. There's probably an easier way to do this, but this works. Let's build the salad. I'm gonna throw some dressing on here. Toss. Okay, so we've tossed that. I'm going to throw on tofu. I have these hip hearts that someone sent to me. Uh, Manitoba Harvest, so we're just gonna add some of those, add some additional protein, and then some yummy goji berries. And there's our epic salad. I just remembered that I have some avocado left over from the shoot, so I'm just going to cube up the avocado and throw that on top as well. And there's our epic salad. I found some leftover tomato from the shoot and some leftover cilantro. It really is an epic salad now. It's like a kitchen sink salad, but so hearty and yummy and good for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video and kind of behind the scenes of a shoot day. I'm going to eat this epic salad, not all of it, but a lot of it. This might be the last thing that I eat today, unless I have a snack. I don't know if I have time for a snack, but if you guys love these What I Eat In A Day videos, give this video a big thumbs up so that I know that you want more of them. Let me know in the comment section below uh, what a typical day of eating looks like for you. And if you guys want me to try something out in a What I Eat In A Day video, like a dish or a product, I'll leave that in the comment section below and then I'll test it out for you um, or give it a try. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, that's so good.